all my crew and security get very scared when I start swinging that belt around. Don't be scared. You know I've never hurt any of you. Cheers, Detroit! Are you still with me? I like that sign. Hometown hero. That's right. I hope you're proud of me. Is that a yes? I said I hope you're proud of me, Detroit. This is a, a, a rather emotional show for me, for so many reasons. First of all, this is where I'm from, and whenever you come home, the stress level goes up to here. Right? Because I care. I care about what you think, and I want you to be proud of me. I talk a lot about mothers. This last song is very special to me because I get to see my mother every night. I get to see David's mother every night. And I get to relish and revel in the importance of being a mother. I have accomplished many things in my long career, but the most important thing that I have ever done is become a mother. And I don't give a shit about any of my accomplishments if I'm not a good mother. So, hats off to all your mothers out there who work your asses off, because it ain't easy Especially if you have a job. How many working mothers are out there in the audience right now? Raise your hand. How many working fathers who are parents? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. It's a hard fucking job. So, yeah, that's... That's part of what I want to say, talking about my mother. I don't often have the opportunity, though, to talk about my father, who is here tonight. Of course, being a mother and having a mother is important. To feel that motherly love, that maternal caring. But having a father is also important. My father, my father, he... He taught me the meaning of hard work. He taught me the importance of earning your way through life. He taught me that life is not a day at the beach. You better be prepared to work hard to get somewhere in life. And I thank you for that, Dad. Thank you. It's hard for me to speak about you because sometimes I was very angry at you as an adolescent. I didn't, I didn't always have you around. I had to share you with eight brothers and sisters, and that was hard. But you were gone because you were working hard to support all of us, and that's something that I didn't give you credit for. So thank you for that. Thank you for working your fucking ass off for us. I really appreciate it.
and if you think I'm tough, and if you think I'm a warrior, and if you think that I'm a beast or a superhero, it's because of my father. So thank you, Dad. Now, <laughs> my dad, he taught me a lot of lessons. He sure did. I thought he was so strict. I hated him so many days. He just, he just said no to everything, basically. If I wanted to go to the movies, he said no. He said, did you do your homework? He said, did you do your chores? And the thing is, I did do all those things, but I still couldn't go. You know what he said? He said, you wanna to go to the movies? You wanna take a ballet class? Go get a job and pay for it. Now, I was very angry at him for saying this, but that was the best lesson that he could teach me. It turned me into the person that I am today. And if I'm still standing here right now, after all that I've been through, all the health scares, I almost died this summer. You know when I was in the hospital, when I came to, my dad, he's, my dad is 92 years old, okay? He has Parkinson's, and I'm, you know, he's still going strong. He's still doing everything he can to keep his vineyard going. And through all of his trials and tribulations, my father called me and said, Madonna, are you okay? And I just thought, wow, with the irony of this, this role reversal, because it's usually me that says it. Anyways, am I talking too much? I have so much to say, but my head is spinning. Um, I learned so much. The Detroit Institute of Arts, come on. That's where I learned about Frida Kahlo. I went to my first gay nightclub here. And I met a very, very important person named Christopher Flynn, my first ballet teacher here in Detroit. He died of AIDS. God bless him. God bless all of you. Thank you for supporting me through all these years. The other thing is, uh, I pretty much went through the majority of my career just wanting to make my father proud of me. And I hope that I succeeded. My father taught me a lot of things. A lot of things to strive for. A lot of things to fight for. And speaking of fighting, let's also acknowledge that it's Martin Luther King's birthday. a freedom fighter who changed the world and gave me someone to look up to, as well as my father. So let me tell you about the things I've learned that I do not need. Are you ready? You don't need You know, you know 
That's right. 